were born in war, grew up in war, become, become moms in war, and again, some of us are grandmoms in war, and we feel like our children, what will they uh, inherit from us? Wars, destruction, we need to do something as moms. South Sudan is the world's youngest country and one of its most fragile. In South Sudan, women and girls are subjected to violence from the ongoing civil war. We have been in like uh, conflict since uh, 1955. Everyone is uh, really traumatized with uh, all those kind of things that we we didn't even get to heal from 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 the war, and then we have another war uh, going on. So it's a really really big trauma, and uh, it's. Um, Expecting people in the, even in their daily daily process, their daily life, it's like, you know, you cannot come out uh, like at morning and you will guarantee that you will go back home safe, you know. Since 2013, more than 40,000 South Sudanese has been killed and at least a quarter of the population, more than 4 million people, have been displaced internally and some to the neighboring countries. The conflict has led to famine affecting over 6 million people. It's causing the health campaign, ethnic cleansing, child soldier, and gender-based violence as a weapon of war. Sometimes people hear like the, 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 the root causes of the conflict in South Sudan is tribal. It actually is not tribal, it is political, but then people started to divide themselves based on their leaders. For us, the church, we are looking at this conflict as senseless. It has no meaning. The Cairo's Women of Courage program works with the grassroots women's organizations such as the National Women Program of the South Sudan National Council of Judges. This women-focused peace-building work is part of the fabric of the communities throughout South Sudan. The National Women Program includes Catholic and Protestants and focus on gender justice issues, including gender-based violence and getting women engaged in the formal peace process. The National Women's Program's Action Plan for Peace creates safe and neutral spaces for truth-telling and bridging the conflict gap among communities. The Council of Churches now currently is committed and it is a, a strategy that uh, composes of uh, three, three pillars, that is advocacy, neutral forum and reconciliation. Maybe bringing the influential uh, leaders or the conflicting parties and talk to them, at least for them to change the narrative from the narrative of war to peace. We have about 500 women who come out every month to denounce and say stop this, this war. We in South Sudan are networking with many women uh, programs, women, uh, even women caucus, women parliamentarians, because uh, the, the women that are violated, sometimes they don't get a way through to get their rights. So uh, we in the church also, because the church is uh, neutral, we don't side, but what we do, we speak the truth and we find a way to help the, the vulnerable. Agnes Petit and Awagden from the National Women Council of Charges toured Canada in late 2017. They visit seven cities in four provinces to explain how women in South Sudan are trying to bring peace to their country and how Canadians can help. First of all, I've learned a lot. There's one thing that I'm going to take back home. Uh, the experience of the indigenous people, I, I visited a, a hospital, a healing hospital in uh, Rajaina. And that man, an indigenous man, who is responsible for the spiritual uh, things, the medicines there, talked to us about the importance of forgiving. And he was like, uh, lack of forgiveness is always disconnecting a human being. So let us forgive so that we, we, are, we are connected. And our connectivity with ourselves connects us with the Creator. And I'm going to take it back to, to our people there. The woman is, yeah, of, of courage is, is the woman that have been, you know, have faced a lot of problems, but yet they still strong enough to stand up for themselves and for others. Women of courage is, uh, is that strength that Kairos Canada gave to women to come out and speak for the voiceless. It's like Kairos Canada is really accompanying the women to become courageous.